Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is official. The holiday tea boxes will be here next week. So these holiday tea boxes make really good gifts. Basically you'll get three different types of teas. There's gonna be three different types of boxes to choose from. So one will be a holiday beauty box. The second will be a holiday wellness box. And the third one will be a holiday flavored box, okay? They'll come with three different teas. They all hold an ounce of tea in each canister and you can make up to 12 to 14 cups of tea. So if you guys are interested in this, this will be available next week on lovelytea.net. And if you're interested in any other tea products, make sure you guys go on to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much once again for all your support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and we have a story that's coming from Outrageous Ass Ohio, okay? So what's going down is that this mug shot that scared the shit out of me, okay, went viral all over social media. This woman's name is Charlene Thompson. Basically, she got into an argument with the woman and instead of her arguing with the woman and just letting it be that, she went and grabbed some hot frying grease and she basically threw it on the victim. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess and now she's going to court for this and this video is crazy you can see her lawyer and the judge getting into it this woman has a history of being arrested time and time again she's a repeat offender i want you guys to go ahead and watch this video and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary about this woman who's accused of pouring hot grease on someone that's her in court today she's been in trouble with the law before though here are nine of her mug shots the newest one right here in the middle our mike shell is following this latest arrest 61 year old Charlene Thompson is no stranger to Cincinnati police. The latest trouble she found herself in happened over the weekend on Hawaiian Terrace in Mount Airy. Thompson appeared in court this morning wondering how much money she would have to come up with this time to be free on bond. Her arrest date back more than 20 years. In 2008, Thompson was accused of kicking a Cincinnati police officer and spitting several times in the back of a police car. In 2007, Thompson was accused of entering an assisted living facility and hitting a resident. Her most recent arrest came on Sunday when she was charged with felonious assault on a woman. The allegations are that uh, the defendant poured hot grease on the victim, resulting in severe burns on the victim's back and arm. The injuries were visible to the police officer. Ms. Thompson is 61 years old, uh, comes before the court with an RS score of four. Uh, it's been uh, 20 years since her last felony. Two decades since her last felony, but Circuit Judge Ted Berry had Thompson's extensive arrest record in front of him. Just like a good attorney, you find some silver lining in that dark cloud. Then a response from her attorney that even caught Thompson off guard. Oh, Judge, if I really wanted to go for every silver lining, I'd point out that no, she didn't assault person. you. Huh? I could point out that she did not assault you. Okay. That she's standing here very uh, peacefully. When it came time to discuss a bond amount, the prosecutor said it should be significant. I'm requesting a high bond, as the court is well aware. Uh, burns are some of the most devastating, painful, long-term, debilitating injuries that someone can suffer. But pain should have no bearing on bond, according to Magnuf. Judge, I will simply point out that the degree of pain is not a relevant factor. The judge ordered Thompson to stay away from the victim and have no contact with her until further advised by the court. There is no word on the victim's condition. Judge Barry set Thompson's bond at $15,000 on the assault charge. Her case will go before a grand jury on December 14th. Reporting from the West End. My I'm sorry, but I cannot argue with somebody who looks like that, okay? First of all, her lashes are distracting me. She needs to be locked up just for them damn lashes by themselves. Who the hell wears them big ass lashes with yellow tips? I'm like, when did this become the style, okay? So this entire situation is insane. You can tell she's probably on drugs. She's probably sick. Um, you can see as they showed her mug shots that she progressed over the years. Her eyes have gotten bigger, so she might be dealing with all types of medical issues. And those lashes are not helping to minimize her eyes whatsoever. ever. If anything, they're bringing more attention to her shit, okay? So I don't feel bad for this serial offender and the fact that she would throw hot grease on somebody knowing that that's going to scar them for life. You know, they're going to have to deal with peeling skin and third degree burns. It's just plain evil. For her to be as old as she is and she's still going in and out of jail as opposed to, you know, being a mother, being a grandmother, just whatever the hell she got going on in her life. She'd rather be in and out of jail and fighting with folks. I don't feel bad for this woman what's so damn ever, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire outrageous ass situation coming from Outrageous Ass Ohio. All right, deuces. <laughs>